What's up everybody? I am Steve, and with me as always is D. You are watching Conversations with Cabies, the only show on the internet where Maynard James Keenan actually sings to you. Today we are talking about Tool. I have heard the new album. D is not. I'm still hung up on the part where you said Maynard James Keenan is going to sing to us. Is he really? Is he going to sing for us, like you and me, or are we just? Are he said he would. Sing? He said he would because he doesn't sing to everybody. Remember? I mean, he like chills behind the drummer and shit. Right. Right. For us, he's actually going to sing to us. He's going to look us straight in the eye and, and sing. Well, to I'm us. fucking stoked. I didn't know it. This is a surprise to me. Yeah, it's great. It's a good thing. So you, uh, I've heard the new album. Listened to it like three times. You have not heard the new album. I, I've heard the little snippets here and there, but I can't say. I've I mean, obviously you've heard Fear Inoculum. Inoculum? I don't honestly know what the... I, that is, I think that's right. I, I'm pretty inoculum. sure that's right, but don't quote me on that. I, I could be wrong on that. But anyway, I've, I've obviously you heard the single that's on the fucking radio. Of course. Um, good track. So, okay, let's let's just take a step back. It came out, the first track came out when? Like two weeks ago, right? A month so. ago, and a and month and ago at best. Okay. And the album just dropped. Oh, an album week. just dropped the Friday, uh, the thirty first or whatever of August. Um, so that track. What did you? What was the first impression of that track? Your uh, first very impression. Tool, very tool feel, of course. Um, you know, traditional tool. Um, but very long too like most i've heard most of the songs on that album are like upwards of 10 minutes yeah i will give me two seconds here and i will get us the uh track list so i can tell you what the actual length is was, ridiculous it is ridiculous. i was talking to joe joe joe's listening to the album right. and he was telling me about it and he's like dude the whole album's like an hour and a half long He's like, it's worth every fucking minute of that listen. He's like... There's only 10 this. tracks, right? There's only 10 tracks, and... I think he said 10 or 12, but yeah. It's not, it's not like a, a jam-packed album, for sure. 10 tracks. Uh, and there's two, uh, like filler tracks right like there's one called mocking beat that's his last track that's a filler track it's all instrumental uh with you know minor keenan echoes and the ghostly shit that he says in the background um legion inoculant is the fifth track that's also another one uh the third track is also a filler track then i mean fear inoculum is 1020 uh numa or Numa, something like that, like pneumonia, but not not Onya. <laughs> anyway, uh, is a twelve minutes basically. Uh, Invincible is twelve forty five. Descending, which is whew, descending, is a track, brother. Descending is such a great fucking track. Thirteen thirty eight is this track, but it's like Damn. it's the. God, it's a good song, dude. It's a really, really good song. And then Culling Voices after that, which is 10.05, track 6 and 7 are money in the bank. Like, anybody who's a regular old Tool fan can like this, because I'm going to go off on a fucking tangent here, Nick. Like, I'm oh, going to straight go. up go on a tangent, but it's going to happen. Because 6 and 7 are great Tool tracks. Like, if you're a fan of Tool, but didn't really get into Lateralis, didn't really go into the whole Fibonacci sequence shit, and if you fucking don't know what that is, look that shit up because it's fucking it bad up. shit. Yeah. Lateralis, the song, is fucking bad shit. It's amazing, and we'll probably touch on that again in like a future music episode. But totally nuts. Tempest uh, is track nine, right? Fifteen forty four. That is a track that is also a fucking like in parts of this track. It's a fifteen minute fucking track. So parts of this track are very, like, old tool, like fucking, like old tool, like fucking, what, I mean, probably kind of undertowy, you know what I mean? You, right. Like, early shit, maybe Anima, but 
<laughs> Maybe Anima. But whatever, you, the, the early shit. Yeah, probably Anima. Because it's like, some of it's like H. You know what I mean? A little bit in Tempest. Like, it's it's not as jazzy and, and, and like, uh, te- quick tempoed as H. How H is that fun fucking, t- t- that really good, uh, fun, faster shit from him. This is, Tempest is just like, straight fucking really hard tool in your face through some of it. And then other pieces of it are just fucking that trippy shit. Like, yes. But the whole fucking album, I feel like, is this is like their deepest project album. Whereas Lateralis was like a, it really revolved around Lateralis, the fucking song Lateralis, and the 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 this this the theme to it, right? And and more the trans trans uh, transcendic. Uh, nature of um, ourselves and the universe and all that shit, MDMA, you know, things, lots of things, right? Um, So, this is more of a full-on, from start to finish, this album tells a story. I'm not sure what it is uh, of it yet. I don't know what this message really is. I think, I was listening to it yesterday night, and I got to Descending, and I was like, they're this this album is like a fucking like the start of the engine right like so they haven't put out an album in a minute okay and it's been 13 years right long time and obviously the last album was what 10,000 days really good stuff um but I don't think I think Tool is a band that puts out music as an answer to the social paradigm at the time, if that makes any sense. Thoughts? I don't know. I mean, are you saying it's been 13 years since there's been a big enough social project or issue that was worthy of a theme maybe to a little write, bit. write music to? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Now, they have been working on this for 13 years. Uh, don't get me wrong. And I just read an article a day that Keenan said it could have been... It was, it was fucking awesome eight years ago. We could have released an album that was fucking awesome eight years ago. But we released, waited till now because we wanted it to be perfect. Because that's what we are. We're perfectionists. <laughs> and maybe to our detriment. But that's the way we do it. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Um, this album is not for... I, I'm interested to see what the reviews are going to be on. Okay? Because there's... There's not a lot here for the people that don't dig music. I mean, none of the tracks that are real tracks are shorter than ten minutes long. <laughs> right. And there's ten fucking songs on here, but the fucking album is an hour and a half. Right. I mean, hour it's, and a half is that's a that's a heavy. It's album. a heavy album for nowadays, dude. I mean, yeah, you know, like Foo Fighters will put out a new one that'll be have like long, but you don't get the big ones really anymore. But it's Everybody not ten wants songs. To do it's, it's it's fourteen. Fifteen. To yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. This is this is a you have to listen to this song uh, or listen to this album. Oh, um, I will. It's on my. It's definitely on my to do list. But you have to listen to it in the right way. Like right, I you can listen, listen to, to it, it, whatever. And but I don't want a first impression jaded by based upon, um, like where what you're listening, how you're listening to it, right? This is a yeah. headphones track. This is or there's headphones. That's what too. that's what Joe said. Joe said, dude, he's like. No matter what you do, he's like, you got to listen to it with over-the-ear earphones. He's like, don't do earbuds, don't listen to it. Mine are cool. I listen to them with this. It's not, I mean, of course, I mean, a pair of nice skull candies or fucking, you know, JBLs or Bose fucking over-the-ears would be great, but but I listen to them with my in-ears. It's good. I mean, mine don't suck, though. My in-ears are good, but your fucking speakers. That headset should be perfectly fine to capture. You just need to chill, close your fucking eyes, and just fucking listen. And it will kick your fucking ass. But it'll take you on a ride. <laughs> it will, dude. It's a fucking... Uh, 
And it's really the first five tracks are just a lead up into this crescendo of six and seven hard six seven and then they do this weird so there's a song called chocolate trip chocolate chip trip that is number eight and it's a it's a great background track it's a great song to listen to in the background like but it's a kind of a like a okay we just did all this cool shit and then we're coming into a lull and then we're fucking like roller coaster fucking coming back up like chocolate chip trip is just the fucking trippiness before because it is it's trippy as fuck it's a trippy fucking beat i mean it's very psychedelic as well this this album is very psychedelic but i used wouldn't expect much less from tool drumming is oh fantastic and it just everything about it is amazing and then it leads up into the tempest and tempest is fucking like Tool's whole career wrapped up in one song, kind of. Would be that song. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Like every genre they've ever Ooh. touched is kind of in that track. It's fucking interesting. Shit. It. It's a great. I mean, it's 15 minutes of fucking pure goodness, and just like I said, listening to it with earphones, amazing. No. Final doubt. thoughts. <clears throat> I mean, that sounds incredible. I can't wait to give it a listen. You know, like I said, I've heard... Final impressions on Tool as well. Um, you know, I wouldn't... Uh, I, I do want to give it the appreciation it deserves by listening to it in the right frame of mind. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe if I got a long inspection, like a long drive time to an inspection, maybe I'll throw it on in the car. I think a car ride like, is great. Most yeah. definitely, because you need to... You have to break it, and they put convenient little... Like the third song, the fifth song, the eighth song, and the last track. Like, they put these little stoppers in there for you where they're just musical tracks that are great. Like, you can stop at that track and it'll lead you back into the feeling, oh, it's almost like they're prepping you for more Tool. You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) we do these two songs and then we'll give you a little old track that preps you for more Tool. It's fucking... Uh, it's interesting. It's fucking an interesting way to write an album. Interesting way to present an album. Extremely deliberate. 80 zillion things I probably have not even fucking like. There's probably some fucking crazy batshit fucking synchronization with all of it that I haven't even talked about. That I'll fucking figure out later and it'll be fucking crazy. Like, sure. It's, but I'm certain that this is, this is an album, not a song. There's no sing, no one song on this album also, which is why, because I also thought, this is fucking another tangent, but uh, the, the title track, right, and the single is the first track on the album. They put that one out. Um, they, they put it out. And I was like, this doesn't feel like a single to me. Right. And it didn't, right? I mean, you would agree with that, right? Right. It doesn't feel like a single. Not because there single. is no singles on this fucking album. It right. was the perfect song to initiate you into what to expect from this album. Period. It was a master class in that. I mean, and the fact that they named it that was... Whatever. I, I, don't, I don't think... I'm not sure the name is that symbolic. You know what I'm saying? It's more... Uh the full package like the you know sum is greater than its parts kind of a situation here and not that the parts aren't amazing but the sum is a whole story where you can't there's no we're we're tool we're beyond cherry picking our shit and giving you poppy songs in our albums you know right like forcing us to make one like that tighten up that fucking hook i need a five minute track who the fuck do you think you are giving me a 10 minute track you know what i'm saying like as a single no, eat a dick. Um, we're tool. We can, right. we can do what we want. And we want the audience to be prepared and know that this is what this album is going to be. Yeah. And you need to listen to it with headphones and you need to buckle the fuck up because you'll want to listen to it again and it's an hour and a half fucking album. Like, that's really the that's really the issue. Like, I wish it was shorter just so I could listen to it more. More often. Yeah. Right, because there's a certain way you need to listen to it to, like, feel like, wow, like, the best after it kind of a thing. It's, sure. it's interesting. It's very interesting. 
final, I'm final, excited. that's it. Final wrap up. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to listen to it. Hopefully here in the next uh, week, I will make that happen and we will have a follow up conversation to this one. Oh, I'm sure we're going to talk about this album for a great long time. It's it's oh, good. Yeah. It's good. Your good final th- your final thoughts. I I think that says it better. I think we're going to be talking about this one again and talking about it uh, for a while to come. All right. But with that, uh, that is a close. Conversations with KB's episode one in the books, bitches. Out. There we go.